So let's move on to talk about pork. And yes, I'm going to tell you that your bacon is bullshit because guess what? Pigs are monogastric animals also. Most pigs are fed corn and soy as well, which leads to massive enrichment of their fat with linoleic acid in the same way. Now, pigs are probably even a bigger problem than chickens because pigs are fattier than chickens. You may not be getting a lot of chicken fat, but if you're eating pork, you're getting a ton of pork fat. And my concern is that that is going to enrich your diet in linoleic acid. And enrich sounds like a good thing, but in this case, enrich is a bad thing. You don't want a diet that's high in linoleic acid. If you have questions about that, I've done many podcasts on that in the past. Consider this study. Cholesterol, coconuts, and diet uh, in the Polynesian atolls, a natural experiment with uh, Pupu, Puka Puka and Tokelau Island studies. This is a very interesting one um, that we've talked about in the past, the Tokelau study. But basically what they show here is that these people, although they had a huge amount of saturated fat in their diet, did not have vascular disease. Vascular disease is uncommon in both populations. There's no evidence of a high saturated fat intake have a harmful effect in these populations. Further evidence that saturated fat is probably not a harmful thing for humans. But in this article, there's a little gem of a table that I will scroll down to show you, which actually looks at the fatty acid composition of lipids of pig and chicken fat from Tokelau, okay? Pork fat percentage, 18.2. That is linoleic acid. 2% of the pork fat was linoleic acid. 2.5% of chicken fat was linoleic acid. In places where pigs and chickens eat quote unquote wild, and they're probably feeding these animals a lot of coconut because a lot of coconut is what grows on the island. A lot of coconut is what makes up their diet. So this is what potentially pig and chicken fat could be if they were fed an evolutionarily appropriate diet or something that was not full of seed oils. What is chicken fat? Like I said, 15 to 20% linoleic acid. What is pork fat? Again, 15 to 20 plus percent linoleic acid. Refer back to the podcast I did with Brad Marshall. If you have questions about that, Brad Marshall is raising uh, low linoleic acid pigs. I believe it's firebrand meats or something. Um, you can go back to the podcast with Brad Marshall. So here's another study. The effect of dietary mono and polyunsaturated fatty acids on the fatty acid composition of pig's adipose tissue. So what you'll see here is that the same things are true. The pigs that ate more polyunsaturated fatty acids had more polyunsaturated fatty acids in their fat. The pigs that had, pigs that had more saturated fat or more monounsaturated fat had lower PUFAs and higher mono and saturated fats because remember pigs are like chickens. They are monogastric animals. They store, they store what is present in their diets, in their fat, and they store it long-term. And that is what we consume as humans. So you can essentially bioaccumulate levels of linoleic acid if you are eating pigs and chickens fed evolutionarily inappropriate diets. That bacon you're eating, yeah, it's great. No defense chemicals, but that bacon fat is loaded with linoleic acid. I also talked about this in great detail in my podcast with Nina Teicholz. Title of that one was something like how pigs or how pork and chicken could be killing you. Look, you can get excess linoleic acid from pigs and chicken just like you can from seed oils. So I don't eat pork for this reason unless I know exactly what it's fed. If I could go to Tokelau, uh, the Polynesian atolls, I might eat the pork there. I had a little bit of pork recently when I was on hunt and we ate a wild uh, pig that was killed by someone on the hunt, but I don't eat pigs that are fed corn and soy and seed oils because it accumulates in their fat.